go with our second lesson on cubes and cuboids. What you'll notice here is a cube, and over here is a cuboid. Again, you'll notice that they're similar. The nets will look kind of similar when we talk about them, but there are also some differences. And uh, this is Cubert. He doesn't belong here. So uh, see ya, Cubert. Anyway, so we're talking about cubes and cuboids. And things that we're going to be talking about today are volume and surface area. So notice that the space that a three-dimensional solid occupies is called its volume, and the area of its net is its total surface area. Kind of looks like the words are stuck together, but they really aren't. Trust me on that one. And we're going to move on. So first thing we're going to do is talk about a cube. Now you'll notice over on the right there is a net of the cube with sides x. So, for example, yes, there we go. And you have the net over here. Now, the volume of a cube you, it can be defined as x times x times x, or x to the third. And the total surface area of the cube is 6x squared. Why is that? Well, if you have x times x over here, oh, goodness, what happened? Come back. There we go. x times x, that's going to get you x squared. And how many of them are there? There we go. Six of them. So that's going to get you your total surface area of 6x squared. What does that really mean? Well, let's take a look at an example of how this can help us. So find the volume and total surface area of a cube of side 3 centimeters. All right, simple enough. So what we're going to do is find the volume of the cube. And since we know we can use x to the third or x cubed, then we're going to take that 3 centimeters and cube it. Remember that 3 to the third is 3 times 3 times 3, not 3 times 3. And so that's going to get us 27. So our volume is 27 cubic centimeters. Next thing we're going to do is find the total surface area. Well, we know the total surface area, TSA, the total surface area is going to be 6x squared. So that means we have 6 times 3 squared. So that's going to get us 6 times 9, which gets us 54 centimeters squared. Notice the units here. Um, a lot of us like to make mistakes. When it comes to units, some of us forget them. You know who you are, I know who you are. But anyway, over here we'll notice cubic centimeters for volume, and centimeters squared for surface area. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take a look at an example over here. The total surface area of a cube is 150 square centimeters. Whoa! Speaking of mistakes, square centimeters. Find the length of a side of the cube and the volume of the cube. So we know the length is equal to x centimeters. So then we know the total surface area equals 150 square centimeters. We also know then that 6x squared is going to equal 150. We'll just hold on to those units for a moment. Then if I divide both sides by 6, I get that x squared equals 25, which means x equals the square root. 
of 25. So x equals 5, which means the length is equal to 5 centimeters. Well, if the length is equal to 5 centimeters, then the volume, again, remembering x cubed, is going to be 5 cubed. So our volume is going to be 125 cubic centimeters. All right, now what we're going to do is talk about cuboids. Now what you'll notice with cuboids is that the net looks a little different. Here I have the length, the breadth, and the height. And when you multiply those two values together, or these two, you get different areas. Let's take a look at the net, and you'll notice that I have length times breadth over here, breadth times height, length times height, breadth times height, length times height, and length times breadth. So that while the volume of the cuboid we could find by multiplying the length times the breadth times the height, the total surface area of a cuboid can be found by taking twice the length times the breadth and the length times the height and the breadth times the height. I guess I should have done that in different colors. Let's just pretend those were green. Here we go. We're all matchy-matchy, color-coordinated and whatnot. All right. So that brings us now to an example using cuboids. Let's take a look. First, we have a rectangular block of metal measures 8 centimeters by 7 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Find the volume of the metal block and find the total surface area of the metal block. All right, so the volume I know is equal to length times breadth times height, which means then the volume is equal to 8 times 7 times 5, which is going to equal 280 cubic centimeters, or centimeters cubed. So now let's talk about the total surface area of the metal block. Well, if we think about the net, I'm going to have twice as many of the 8 times 7 plus 8 times 5 plus, what's left? 7 times 5. I have all of my sides represented now, so that's going to be equal to 262 square centimeters. Again, remember, when you're talking about units, volume is cubic centimeters, surface area, square centimeters. Wait, there's more. If the metal block is melted and recast into a cube, find the length of a side of a cube. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. All right. So then what we're going to do is take a look, and we're going to say that the length is equal to x centimeters. x 
And we already know that the volume of the metal block is equal to 280 cubic centimeters. Well, what we're doing is we're taking what used to be a cuboid and now we're going to change it so that it is more cubish in nature. Pretend it's a cube. I know you can. All right, so there's our cube, which means now we know that x cubed is going to equal 280. Well, if x cubed equals 280, we are going to take the cube root of 280. So something times something times something equals 280. If we use our calculators, we find that it's not a whole number value, but I'm going to round this to three significant figures to get 6.54. So the length equals 6.54 centimeters. And there you have it.